My mindset is so simple. I just want to get better. I want to get better and I want to work with great people. It's really simple. You've got to enjoy the process, you know. It, it's, um, if you focus too much on sort of uh, what's the result of it all, mm. you know, you're not right in the middle of it, you know, in the, to sound cliche, but in the moment of it all, you know. I wish I had known that early on because I was auditioning a lot and waiting for other people to give me a chance and now with the internet and all these other outlets, you can write your own things and act in your own stuff and just make really incredible you know, incredible projects without having to wait for someone else to tell you yes. You know, you spend a lot of time j just trying to be liked and you get really worried about, do people like what I did or do people appreciate my work? And I think that having the guts to just be yourself sometimes is harder than people think. When I was 22 years old, I came to this city for the first time. I was playing in the Canadian Football League, playing my first pro football game. I was playing for the Calgary Stampeders. We were playing the BC Lions. I was so excited. Two days later, I got cut. <laughs> the dream shattered, sent home with seven bucks in my pocket. I was like, wait, no, I got to play in the NFL eventually. Those are my big goals. That's my dream. You realize that, that playing in the NFL was the best thing that never happened because it got me here. So my point is, look, you're going to get your ass kicked. We're going to get the shit kicked out of us. You got to get up. You got to have faith that the one thing you wanted to happen oftentimes is the best thing that never happened. So have faith and just keep that in mind and keep plugging away. It's easy to, to um, embrace hopelessness when things seem insurmountable. And yet, uh, it's actually just a matter of time until all of the elements come together for things to be all right. I mean, I, I believe that, you know, most uh, difficult situations will resolve themselves if you are persistent and if you don't if you don't uh, give up entirely. And that's what I never did, I never gave up. We all have varying degrees of loss and sadness and pain in our lives. And it's, it's a necessity, honestly, because then how would we appreciate the, the good times and the, the, the hopeful times and... Being an actor is the first thing that I remember wanting to do in life. Um, I remember at 14, 15 years old, watching some classic films and being so incredibly inspired by them and saying to myself one day I want to come close to doing something that good so th I think that that thirst or that drive to just achieve what I believe is something as good as you know those heroes that I have is what continues to make me want to uh, want to do this the world might say you are not allowed to yet please don't even bother asking don't bother telling the world you are ready. Show it. Do it. Yeah, I believe in uh, manifestation. I believe in, uh, you know, <clears throat> putting a rocket of desire out into the universe. And, and you get it when you believe it. You get it when you believe you have it. And that's the key is like people still, they sit around going, when's it going to come? 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 And that's the wrong way. You're, you're facing the wrong way, you're facing away from it. You have to go, it's here, it's here, it's here. You know, when you're a kid, I think you try so hard to fit in, and when you get older, you realize that fitting in isn't really the thing that's more interesting. You know, being your own person and being an individual. Uh, I would not be here if I would have listened to the kids who told me I was a terrible singer and I was a sissy, or you know, other things that they would say to me. Um, you know, it's, be different, be different. Yes. What gives me strength all the time is to be able to have formulated a group of people around me that are my friends and my family. Mm -hmm. You know, those two words are enmeshed in my opinion, but it's given me a, a, a grounding that as, as insane as my life can be sometimes is always refreshing and they're always so honest with me and I'm so thankful for that. You only learn really in this world uh, from the mistakes you make, from hard times, from going through difficult periods. That's when you grow. And we should look at these moments as, as, as opportunities for growth and as almost blessings because if everything went smoothly all the time we'd be very complacent and we'd stay in one place. I have so much discipline in my life 
and I have such a positive outlook on life and you know the opportunities that I have and the things that I've been able to accomplish in my life. 4.30 in the morning, I'm in my, my kitchen having breakfast. Five o'clock, I'm in the gym. 6.30, I've already had another shake, and 7.30, I'm eating a couple turkey burgers, dropping the kids off at school, and by nine o'clock, I'm having another meal, and I've already been to church and worked out, and you know, I feel like there isn't anything that I can't accomplish. I think some of my more successful things, in my point of view, have been the things I've been most nervous about and probably most unsure when I began. It's okay, be nervous. Say you're nervous. I used to, by the way, for 20 years, I never did. I hid it tried to hide it, say it. And it's usually relieving to everyone around you. In life, we so want to feel comfortable, but that doesn't always bring the best results. Everybody loves you when things are going great, but you really get to see who you are and who the real people around you are when things aren't. And those people that you can tell are real, you hold on to. You know, you stay true to those relationships. You just got to get out there and take a chance. Even if it's unpaid work, whatever it is, it will lead to something better, so. I always want to like kind of like push myself to be better, you know, and, and, do, and do greater things um, no matter what it is. I think I always want to constantly evolve. You know, I always want to constantly grow. I never want to get to a point where I feel like I got to figure it out. Failure is a massive part of being able to be successful you have to get comfortable with failure yet you have to actually seek failure failure is where all of the lessons are you know when you go to the gym and you work out you're actually seeking failure you want to take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the the adaptation is that's where growth is Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed, but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that, the, the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. You gotta take a shot. You have to live at the edge of your capabilities. You gotta live where you're almost certain you're going to fail. That's the reason for practice. Practice is controlled failure. You're getting to your limit, getting to your limit, getting to your limit. You can't lift that. You can't do that You until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it. Failure uh, actually helps you to recognize the areas where you need to evolve. So fail early, fail often, fail forward.